One thing I started doing in the new year is taking gummies. Gummy vitamins. I don't know if they do anything, but they taste great. Hello, my name is Krisha. I am 21 years old and today I am trying again. Yesterday I tried filming a video and it did not go well in any respect. Like, my makeup did not look just crusty. I was a whole box of saltines. That's, oh my God, that's how crusty it looked. It was really bad. So today we are trying again. Um, I am in front of, I'm very actually precariously placed in front of a window, so I have very natural light today. I think part of the reason why it did not look so good yesterday is because the lighting wasn't too great. We're trying again. So I'm going to start by priming my face as always with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Catrice Prime and Fine. I'm going to start by priming my face as always with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Filling Primer. Please excuse my roommate. He's like playing a game with his buds and like something must not be going well because it has been nothing but screaming from that direction. It's so funny though, like people when they play games, they like get so, so aggressive with it. And then like he'll come out of his room. I'm using, I have the front facing camera today. So I'm using that kind of to apply my makeup. He'll come out of his room and he'll be like, oh, hi, Krisha. Very softly, very gently. And then he'll go back into his room and be like, what are we doing? So how's everybody doing? I have not filmed since November and currently today is the 21st of January, I think. For, I'm not gonna use foundation today. I just wanna do like a quick concealer job. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. This is a new shade. Hopefully it uh, matches because the old shade I would use was just the tiniest bit too dark that once it oxidized, it was um, it was too dark. So first I'm gonna go in, just do like a base layer and then I'll do, um, well actually no, I should have done this the other way. I should have gone in first with, with like just dabbing it over imperfections, uh, but you know what? Whatever, I guess we're going backwards today. I'm using a very lightweight brush, so it doesn't just tear all the makeup off. Of course, I'm wetting it as always. Okay, so this is not my color. <laughs> but you know what? Oh, this is not my color whatsoever. Oh God. So now I'm gonna go in just with the tiniest amount and go over any imperfections on my face. And I'll just let that dry for a minute. And next, I will take the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer, the regular one, and this I will put in all the highlighty areas. Well, first I'll just put this under my eye just to get that nice and started drying. And while that's starting to dry, I'll get my powder ready. I'm gonna use Cody Airspun as always. And I am gonna bake today. One thing that you might notice that's a lot different is the quality of the camera is a lot better. That is because for Christmas, I got a new phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro. I believe this is the iPhone that they like recorded Lady Gaga's new music video on because of the quality was so incredible. And it is, the quality of the camera is insane. However, that means I have to do my makeup all the better. <laughs> the one thing that it is picking up, is not picking up though, is that I have foundation here. But it looks like I doesn't. I doesn't. Looks like I don't. And this crease on my forehead is gonna be the death of me. So, time to set. And as always, I'm going to just, I'm gonna set the whole face. And this is the first bake. I don't care if the little extra bit that's on my face, that's going to be my quote unquote bake. And then we're gonna do brows, wipe off the excess, do a spray, and then maybe I'll do a second bake. I don't really feel like I need it today because I'm not gonna keep this on for very long. And my favorite thing, absolute favorite thing, is to take a little bit of powder on the tip and tuck it behind my nose. Now I know this bit looks very, very crusty. That is the point. So now to do my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. So I didn't just get a new phone for Christmas. 
Um, I got like a whole, like my dad got me a Harry Potter knitting pattern book because I've gotten to knitting. For Christmas, I knitted everyone stuff. I mainly knitted scarves because scarves are possibly the easiest thing you can knit. Um, I also did hats. Once I figured out how to make hats, I was like unstoppable. I'm trying to finish a blanket. I made my, I wanted to make my sister a blanket, but then I ran out of time. So that is something I have to finish, but I did not realize just how hard it is or just how long it takes. Cause basically you have to knit like nine scarves and then sew them together. Oh, that looks good. Oh, Jake got me a switch light and I have been obsessed. I love Animal Crossing. I'm completely obsessed with Animal Crossing. I also love Mario Kart. We have a GameCube and the one Mario Kart I played literally my entire life was Mario Kart Double Dash. And I freaking loved Mario Kart Double Dash. We still play it from time to time. We'll bring up the GameCube, but the one thing that our friends Vanessa and Victoria, who I will mention a lot in this video, they gave, they showed us um, the, excuse me, Mario Kart on the Switch, and it is so much fun. All right, base is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with my brow gel. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. If I don't mention any products or their shade names, they will always be in the description box below. So next I'm going to put on P. Louise base and I'm gonna set that with uh, Cody Airspun and lay down just like a little bit of bake that I will probably take off kind of immediately. Oh, I just dropped my tissue box on the floor. So I'm just gonna tap that out. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. So I'm gonna take all of this bake off. It's baked for long enough. I was speaking with Allison. We spoke for a while. She just came home to our college. So I spoke with her for a while. So I gotta take the bake off because it's been on long enough. So now I'm just gonna wet my face with Pixie Hydrate Milky Mist. Just to let the bake and the powder like melt into the skin. So um, Vanessa and Victoria got me the Fade Into Hue ColourPop palette. And I wanted this palette so badly. Oh, I'm so happy that they got this for me. I really, really wanted it. And I so appreciate it. Oh, look at how pretty all of that is. It's so pretty. Oh my God. I want your stupid love, love. I have to clean my brushes. These are gross. I think I say that every time I do my makeup and I never learn and I just keep using the same nasty brushes. So after yesterday's conundrum, I did yellow yesterday. And needless to say, I hated it. So today I'm going to use the purples because purple is just my safe, pur purple is my safe color. I can always make something really pretty with purple. So I wanna do something really light and lilac-y today. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, this shade, Selfie, and I'm going to load this up in my crease. This is gonna be the main shade for the whole eye, but I wanna create a crease first. So then we can start blending our other colors into it. And this is meant to be a pastel shade. Now, my thing with um, eyeshadows is that, and people might not agree with this, but I really like when eyeshadows are super light. Um, I still want them to be pigmented, but also I like when they're super light because then it's so easy to blend and like add color and subtract color. I love that, especially with black eyeshadows because with black eyeshadows, like it's, it's so quick to go overboard and not look good. So I love when black eyeshadows are like a little more sheer because then they're easy to build up and work with. I don't know, that's just my excuse. Okay, I love that, I think that's adorable. So next I'm going to take this um, shade Majestic and I'm going to start by pressing this in the outer corner 
and then slowly add this onto the lid and into the crease. Now I don't want to do anything like crazy dark today. Um, I don't want to do any, like I want light and pastel purple because dark purple, you run into the bruise, <laughs> into bruise territory and that can easily look bad. And then I just want to fan this out to create that V shape. Working this through my crease, making sure to blend up, um, up and out. And of course the two eyes aren't going to match, but you know, that's to be expected. Wow, I love that. So I'm gonna take selfie again, and I'm really gonna load this up onto the brush and just apply this all over the lid and make sure our lid is coated. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take selfie and put it all over the bottom lash line. Actually, no, I'm gonna take a this like stiff definer brush and this I'm gonna load selfie on the lower lash line with. Now, obviously, if I had kept my base wet, it would be easier to do this. However, I never learn. Also, I just hate working with a wet base. I think like, it's just not for me. And you know, it's my makeup journey. I can pretty much do whatever I want. So back to the same fluffy brush we were using. I'm gonna take Majestic one more time. Uh, knock off the excess and just tuck this color, make it a little more pigmented on the outer edge. Then I'll load up the extra on the other eye. So then I can tap off the excess start blending. Now I'm going to take off all of the excess color and start blending this out on the lower lash line. Oh my god, my eye's tearing up. That was a big problem I ran into yesterday. My eye kept tearing up. Wow, this looks really pretty. Am I an artist or what? Hmm, big or what? Wow, this looks really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shimmer shade up here, Express. I'm gonna load that up on the tip of my finger and I'm going to gently pat that onto my eye up until the we reach the darker shade of the eye. But I don't wanna cover that up. I want that to be still as pigmented. And I'm just patting with a gentle tug I'm not tugging, I'm not using any extreme pressure, just letting whatever metallic wants to come off my finger to come off my finger, I'm not being too aggressive. Wow, that looks pretty. So I'm gonna take my pinky, the tip of my pinky, and do just the start of the lower, just the start of the lower lash line, as far as it is on the upper part of the eye. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, I love that. I'm actually gonna raise the camera a little bit. Maybe it'll be easier for you to see. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, let me just, I'm gonna just blend out the edge of that metallic and then the eyes are done. Other palettes I got for Christmas, I got the Child palette, which if you go to my Instagram, I have a, um, it's what I used on Christmas to create my Christmas look. And I love that palette. Um, I also got uh, another palette, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, that I'm going to use. All right, so now with the Maybelline, uh, the Colossal Mascara, I'm going to apply mascara. I don't think I'm gonna do lashes today just cause I don't really feel like it. I need to get a new mascara, this is disgusting. This is so gross, it's so chunky. And this, mas and this mascara is very good. I would recommend it to anybody. It liter it gives you so much volume and like, really fans out your lashes. Um, it used to be not as chunky as it is now, but I need to get a new one because this one is dying. We'll go back when um, when it's dry and touch that up. And using the ColourPop BFF Gel Cream Liner in Exit, this is, don't know what that was. This I'm going to put in my waterline. just to give some brightness. And I always tuck the color up 
on the corner of my lap. Like not necessarily tight line the whole eye because I can't do that. However, I know it's I know it's technically winter, but I love how spring this eye look looks. <sighs> it makes me happy. That is one of my New Year's resolutions is just to do stuff that makes me happy. So now I'm going to take the um, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and this I learned from yesterday. I'm not going to apply too much. I just want to apply a little bit just so that the pigment is there and then I will blend. So now I'm gonna take all the excess off of the brush. I don't want any pigment on this brush. And then I will just start blending. I wanna keep the top, little top bit of the brush on, the, on my cheekbone so that I know that all the pigment is being spread underneath. Hmm, that looks really good. So now the next palette, which I'm super excited about, is the Trixie Cosmetics Mod About Mod About You palette. Oh, I love this palette. So I want to do something. I want to take. I'm going to take the shade Plush Bunny because I'm not brave enough for Go Go Girl. I don't want to do too much. I just want to do a tiny bit just to bring that. Cute, very cute blushiness. I really want to spread this all over my cheek, not just on the apples. Let's see, do I look like a clown yet? Ah, it looks so cute. Mm. Oh, I love this palette. It's so cute. I'm very happy I got it. And it's so good. The formula is bomb. So I'm going to take the Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Light Powder in the shade Juni. And this, I, as usual, I'm gonna put just a touch on my forehead just to give it that, like, I, I'm i healthy glow. Just the extra bit on like, so yeah, it looks a little bit like skin. <laughs> then I'm going to take the Jaclyn, like, extreme highlighter. This is in the shade Extra. And this, I'm literally just taking the excess from the lid because it is so bright. And I'm just gonna make sure to like gently, oh shit, I freaking love highlighter. And I love this because it is sparkly and glittery, glitter, blah, 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 blah. It is sparkly and glittery, but it's so soft and just like ethereal. I love it. I am so out of breath and I don't know why. And then for inner corner and brow bone highlight, I am, you know, I was gonna use a different highlighter. I'm just gonna use the same super highlighter. And I will blend this out a little bit in a sec. I kind of just want to place the pigment and then I will blend it out in a sec. Oh, it's so pretty. Then for lips, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudist. Then I'm just going to take off the excess with a tissue. A tad bit crusty, but nobody minds. Then last but not least, a little bit of setting spray. Now I'm gonna just freshen up and I'll be right back to do the reveal. All right, this is it. This is my look all complete. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was definitely something new for me. I've, though I did film a lot in front of my window when I was at my house over quarantine, um, but this is the first time I've ever done it at school and I actually really enjoyed it. Okay, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys like me, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you ring the bell for post notifications. I post every Monday at 2.30, fingers crossed. I try my hardest. <laughs> All right, and if you guys wanna see more stuff, some behind the scenes stuff, and definitely more makeup I do, definitely check me out, uh, Krisha anyway, on Instagram. It's also in the description box below. All right, thank you guys so much. Bye. -bye.